Well, he wants to be your congressman for an 11th term. Here to talk about his run for re-election to the U.S. House of Representatives for Georgia's 2nd Congressional District is 20-year veteran and incumbent Congressman Sanford Bishop. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Oh, thank you so much for allowing me to come with you. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, it's been a while since you've represented anyone here in Bibb County. The district lines have shifted. So how have you changed your campaigning to meet the needs of some of the residents here in Bibb County? I haven't changed at all. I've just expanded the territory. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed representing the people of Bibb County when Bibb was a part of the 2nd Congressional District uh, starting in 1992 all the way through 1996. And I look forward uh, to representing the people of the 2nd Congressional District in Bibb County now. Uh, it's been wonderful. Uh, I want to use the legislative process as I have over these years to try to improve the quality of life of the people in our area. Jobs in a stronger economy, better education, safe communities, a clean environment, affordable health care, and a strong national defense in the context of a balanced budget. That's a tough job. Uh, we're working hard at it, but the people of Bibb have been good to me. Uh, I've I believe I represented them very well when I was here before, and I look forward to continuing uh, to represent their hopes and aspirations as we go forward. Well, you mentioned defense cuts. That's a big topic these days. Last year, you voted on the Budget Control Act in 2011. You mm -hmm. voted for it. Now you have been campaigning around the state with um, Republicans and talking about how Congress needs to come up with a new plan to stop those automatic cuts from triggering in 2000. 2013 at the start. Absolutely. In August, we were faced with the possibility of uh, uh, not being able to pay our bills. Uh, we were raising the debt limit, and in conjunction with ra the raising the debt limit, we passed the Budget Control Act, uh, hoping that it would uh, make Congress uh, do what it needed to do through the Super Committee, uh, which was created as a result of the Deficit Reduction Commission. Uh, it would have them to uh, reduce our deficit by $1.2 trillion over a 10-year period. Uh, the Super Committee failed. Uh, there was a sword or a guillotine hanging over the Congress uh, uh, as an incentive for them to reach agreement. Uh, if they didn't, then Republicans would uh, have a 50% cut. Uh, we would have a 50% cut in, in uh, defense. And for Democrats or uh, more limited liberal people, uh, who are concerned about the safety net, there would be a 50% uh, cut in non-defense spending. Uh, no one expected that it would happen. We thought that those would be sufficient incentives for people to actually, for the committee to actually meet and, and reach an agreement. But because of the partisanship, the finger pointing, uh, they weren't able to do so. So now we're faced January 2nd with D-Day, where that uh, guillotine will drop and we'll face devastating cuts, both the defense and non-defense. And we cannot afford that to happen. It'll hollow out our military and it will eliminate the safety net uh, that so many people depend on. Well, obviously you've got a lot facing you when you go back in, up in session in September. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have to talk about some of these things, but is there anything else that you want to say to your constituents out there in the second district? Well, I am just delighted. We had a kickoff on Tuesday where we kicked off our campaign here. We had a wonderful turnout. Uh, and of course, uh, the elected officials that were there, the mayor, the chairman of the county commission, and many people from all walks of life were there uh, to welcome us back to Macon. And we look forward to a, a very, very vigorous campaign. And we look forward to representing the people of Bibb County as a part of the second congressional district in Washington next year. All right, well, thank you so much, Congressman. And Congressman Bishop will face off against Republican John House for Georgia's second district in the November election. Tune to next Thursday to 41 NBC on the news at 6. I'll sit down with House to talk about his campaign for Congress.